Hi there, I'm Katie Cook from Portland's Culinary Workshop, and today we're gonna to talk about the proper way to cut up garlic. So, I've got a few cloves here ready to go. The first thing I'm gonna do is cut off the woody end. It is in fact wood, it's not gonna break down in your food. If you've been chopping it up your whole life and just eating it anyway, that's totally fine because fiber is good for your digestion. Um, but it is wood and it's not gonna break down. It's one of the reasons why when you roast garlic, this part stays super hard when the rest of it gets really soft. It is also where all the paper is connected. So if you cut that off first, that's gonna benefit you. Notice I'm practicing the PCW classic pinch of the blade and curl of my fingers, not up here, back here on the side. And I'm cutting, even though I'm cutting with something really small, I'm gonna use the same chef knife. I'm just gonna make sure that everything I'm cutting is closer to my knife hand. You don't want it way out here, 10 inches away from your source of power and control. Being afraid of the knife is not gonna help you control it any better. Bring it back close to your knife hand, and that way when you're cutting things that are a little bit more firm, you can get on top of it with your shoulder and your bicep. Really get that leverage, okay? Um, so I'm gonna cut those pieces off. It's probably plenty. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my knife to my non-dominant hand so that I can smash it on the side here. I don't trust my left hand to do anything except for maybe whisking. So I'm gonna put my knife in that hand with the blade going away from me, angled down at the board, and I'm just gonna give it a little pop on the side there. I'm not wailing on it. I'm not taking my day out on this garlic. Just saying hello. And then you can kind of like shake it and wiggle it and that paper will come right off. You don't have to get in there with your fingernails like scratching it away. Easy peasy. So now what I'm gonna do, uh, you can give it another smash on the side. Um, we're gonna be cutting this into about 5,000 pieces. So I'm not worried about releasing the juices. I know you hear that a lot. Um, what I am worried about is that awkward shaped item is flat. That way it's nice and easy for me to cut. It's not gonna roll around under the blade too much. So if you have some pieces like this one that are a little bit crazy, you can give them another smash now that you've got the paper out. So now, um, we commonly call the guide hand position that we like at the shop the bear claw. We're going to use the small version of that, the eagle's talon. So I'm still holding on to this. I'm not blindly running my blade through it. I'm still holding everything in place. You just want to make sure you're really paying attention to what you're doing. Be present. Be here. Don't be talking to someone else and looking somewhere else while you're doing this. Um, so I'm going to get in nice and close. Again, I'm still using that back part of my knife to do all the cutting. The front of your blade is for rocking. There are some exceptions to that rule, but there are also exceptions with specific knives. Like you're almost always using the tip of a fillet knife, for instance. Here, um, I'm gonna run through, and the smaller I cut it on my first pass, the less subsequent passes I have to do, like the less time I need to spend here with my knife cutting this up. So now that I've got it in really tiny pieces, I can go in uh, hand flat on the spine of the blade and pivot back and forth. to cut that up. Now, when it's all over the side of my blade, I know you're tempted to do the finger sweep. I don't want you to do that. I want you to bring the garlic back to the edge of your board. You're gonna make sure that the bolster and handle of your knife are all the way off the edge so that way your blade can get flat. And then you're going to smoosh and smoosh. Now my blade is clean. So just so I can show that to you one more time, you're gonna go through and mince all those pieces. Get them as tiny, tiny as you can. And then you're gonna bring that garlic to the edge of your cutting board. 
and then I'm sweeping down and away. It's not sweeping across. I'm also starting at the edge of my pile, not on it or in it, but next to it. And I'm gonna sweep down and away in a concave motion with my knife. And not only is that gonna clean the side of my knife off without smelling like garlic for the rest of the day, but also all of those larger hunks that are stuck to the side of your knife or like not getting underneath the blade when you're cutting through and mincing, it's gonna smash all of those into submission. So down and away, down and away. And that's a little bit of chopped garlic for you. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us on Facebook. Um, my name is Katie Cook from Portland's Culinary Workshop. Thanks for joining me today.